housekeeper's got to be a popular roast because like, it's the top rib on the bone. But we do the brisket corned beef and the tail end corned beef. And that'll be a big seller for us at the weekend. We do the rib roast bone and roll. We have the ball of the round like that, the leg beef, the lap of lamb, necks of lamb, lamb pieces. Well, then you have the usual sirloin round steak. After that, nearly everything will be will be the same. Like the cattle are still being made the same way. They still have all those bits and pieces on them. To work with a good bit of meat, it's satisfaction. But to have a bad bit of meat and trying to doctor it up and letting on to it, I no, I wouldn't do that. Right. If I had to do that. The door would be, I'd be gone. <laughs> You need a knife and a chopper and a saw, and then the blocks, like it's just, like those blocks, well that block there would be the oldest one, this would be more a newer type one, but you know basically all you need is a block and a good knife and fire away and, and the scale as well. The Africans, they, they like the leg beef, the Chinese like the lamb and like the next lamb, it's hard to keep it and like years ago was, you get them for our, you know, the stews and the things, you now it's, it, everything is gone. I suppose those cuts were always there, it's just that they're coming back into fashion again. The butchering has changed as regards a lot of people, now shops will get it in ready prepared. So like, it's hard to get a bread, it's hard to get fellas now that would know how to do the bone and how to do that work. 10, 15 years ago, it was no problem because the lads were there, but because it has changed and they're getting it in boxed, just ready to put in the window and hand out, you don't have to be a qualified butcher to serve it. Like you can just have counter hands or whatever, whereas here we can all do our bone and we can all do our rolling and we all do the cutting. So we've stuck with it this way. Like I suppose we could have changed, but then you'd be no different from anyone else. So we stuck to this route and it's working, so we won't be changing it. And I suppose we'll keep it going that way as long as we can. But whether there's anyone else then to take over on that, I don't think so. Here and you grow up here, I kind of been a part of it, and everything that, that about the people, they're, they're very, they're, some are, they're, they're loyal people. They trust in you, you trust in them, and they trust us then for what we give. We don't give, we don't give mutton and, and not give lamb. We give the lamb, we give the best. And if you give, you give the wrong bit of meat, they let you know about it. Like they're not, they're not shy that way either. <laughs> You get satisfaction out of it, like you're doing a job, you're doing it well, and like no matter what you do, whether it's wallpaper and tiling or painting, well, you're doing something for, because at the end of the day, the customer that comes in is the one that pays the bills. I suppose the father was happy that there was going to be someone else to, himself and Declan, to step in and keep it going. He started here maybe in, I think it was around 1950. It was himself and his brother, Callum. It's amazing the way Everything has changed, it's still a tradition that seems to have survived. And like people, even this day and age now, come in and they can't believe when they see the likes of the housekeeper's cuts, the leg beef. And like I suppose when you're younger you think the more modern things are the way to go. But now you look back at it and you say, well, it's still working since 1950 and that's what people want.